ओके फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ अभिलाष आई एम वर्किंग एज ए वर्किंग एज ए सिस्टम एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर अंडर प्रोफेसर डी बी फाटक वी हैव ए फाइव मेंबर टीम आई विल इंट्रोड्यूस दम दे आर सिटिंग इन द बैक वन इज स्वादी पाटिल कैन यू राइस स्वादी स्वादी पाटिल देन कल्याण राम राहुल केवी एंड सौरभ विमर Okay, they are handling the system and infrastructure for this project. So I think today we are going to discuss about the Linux. So I think how many of familiar with Linux? One, two, three, four, five. Most of the people. So which flavor you are using? Distribution. Distribution. Go <laughs> to which version? All of the people. How many of new to Linux? Raise the hand. No. Only two. Three. Four. Only four people, right? Only four people don't know Linux. Not audible. No, anything. You are new to Linux. You are using only Windows. How many people only using Windows? Not that used with Linux. You. Okay, fine. I think everybody know who invented Linux. Who? Okay, fine. How many distributions are there? Hmm? Many. Tell me some names. No. Debian. Debian. Red Hat. Okay. How many of done any codes in Linux like RHC or RHCA? Anyone done that codes? Can't hear. Okay. So anybody done any codes like RHC, RHCA? Anybody here uh, know any courses is there like Red Hat courses? Anybody have any idea? You know Red Hat Linux, right? Don't know? You know Red Hat Linux? No. Because Ubuntu, you know, in your colleges you are using Ubuntu. That's why, right? Huh? There is a famous distribution called Red Hat, Red Hat Linux. Right now they are using Enterprise Linux 7. It is paid. But they are giving support. So that's why they are charging. Only for the support they are charging. Linux. So their distributions like uh, Fedora. Fedora is their open source community. And also there is a Linux called uh, uh, SendOS. Anybody heard about SendOS? Yes, uh, SendOS is exactly <coughs> RHEL 7. What they are doing is only taking the RHEL 7 and changing the logos. The rest of the things are there. If you go to inside, all the files are there. So you will get a same feeling like this an open source community. They are only helping out. I think it's clear, clear right? So in Linux, I think you can see Everybody is interested only in graphics, right? Like Windows, everybody need Windows, like GUIs, right? Anybody is like to work in like a black and white interface only in commands. Like this one. No graphics, nothing. You want to type the command, you want to edit the files, then only everything will work. In GUI, if you want to change an IP address, or if you want to change something, you want to go to the corresponding area, right click, change, you give the IP, everything will change. But here, how we will do? If I log in, then also I will get only this black and white screen.
Any idea? If you want to change an IP address, if you want to change your host name, if you want to add a new user, if you want to change password, how we will do from this? But GID will not work here. I think everybody knows no, Linux is fully this configuration based like you can change any configuration. You can go to the corresponding configuration and you can change what are the things you need. Then restart the service, it will work. You have, you know that. For that you want to learn some commands like creating folders, directories, changing password, creating users. Next is a Linux system is booting. Anybody know the boot process? Boot process. How a system is booting? When you switching on a Linux machine, how it is booting? What are the steps? Louder. Bootloader first. Okay, partially it is correct. So I will show you, you can go through this presentation. I think I am not explaining so much. So these are the six steps. I think most of the people know what is the first one, BIOS. I think everybody know BIOS. Right? Then MBR also most of the people know. Master boot record. Then GRUB. I think maybe that is a new word. GRUB. Hmm? What is GRUB? What is Okay, then kernel then in it level in the next slide you can see what is bios if you don't know as many as system is switching on first it will check if suppose a ram is missing or some hardware is some problem is the system boot yes or no no how it will identify from this part right i think you understand anybody have doubt or bios no Next is MBR. I think in the there is no need to explain. Everything is here. If it is success, then only first step is success. Then only it will go to second one. Otherwise, it will not go. Okay. Then grub. So grub means if you install a windows as well as ubuntu or any other distribution in a single machine and the, i think when i reboot the machine you saw the screen is coming with the three four options so that screen is called grub in that three four options are there like first is windows then ubuntu then ubuntu rescue mode if i have any other os in my system it will show that also so i can select from there so we can set the timing if you want to default it will go to so if you want to go to Windows, we can set. So for that, we want to change some files, configuration files. OK. 
ओके आफ्टर ग्रब कर्णाल then run levels anybody know about the run levels this is the run levels run levels you know suppose if i am using a terminal like i will get on a black and white screen right there is no gui nothing i want to shut down the machine how simply power of the machine no no i want to shut down the machine how we will do because uh, you are using only desktop because we are handling with only servers in servers there is no need for gui because nobody is going to the server room and pull 24 slides and we are not accessing it. what are the things we want to do we directly ssh and what are the things we want to do? we change the file save it restart the service it will work there is no gui because my server room is in another building otherwise every time i want to do some changes avinashar is saying okay avinash do this इधर से भाग जाएगा उधर तक करेगा फिर वापस आए नहीं कर सकते इसलिए पूरा टर्मिनल इसलिए इसमें ना हॉल्ट हॉल्ट मीन्स इन इट जीरो इफ यू टाइप इन इट जीरो एंडर द मशीन विल गो डाउन ओके अंडरस्टैंड नेक्स्ट इज सिंगल यूजर मोड विदाउट नेटवर्किंग इन इट वन सो इन वॉट केसेस दिस यूजिंग इज फॉर ट्रबल शूटिंग normal purpose we are not using in it for some emergency if the system go down something happen after booting it is not booting otherwise you forgot the password of the system including root user so if you want to change then that case you want to go to single user even from the grub itself you can change the parameters and you can directly boot to single user it will not ask any password nothing directly you will get a back and white screen with shell you want to type the commands change it restart it it will work okay i think everybody know single user as well as multi user you know multi user huh? okay then there is no need to explain same uh, second means you will not get internet like intranet or network you will not get but multiple users can access third one is the full multi user mode in this mode you will get all the features but there is no gui x window will not come like gui will not come only black and white screen with the shell from you will get you can log in this third third one is we are using in the servers because there is a reason for that also because if we load the desktop no it will take more processing as well as more ram from the server side there is no need for graphics we need more processing power plus we need more ram so simply we will avoid that okay four is not using five means you can see x11 x11 means the graphics most of the these things are if you check all of them have graphics that means it is running in the run level 5 okay next is 6 in its 6 if you put in its 6 and enter the machine will reboot but you should a sudo user otherwise it will not allow so all are the run levels it is loading from the file if you go to the files you can see these files go to the machines you know you can see this file in etc rc.d you can see these files so this is uh, this sorry this what is this screen what do you see entering commands the same screen you are getting here also no? ah. okay it is taking the input from the keyboard giving to the linux kernel and giving the output if you run some command i think most of the people know the basic commands right 
everybody know no cdls ls minus l how to hide a folder Everybody know the permissions. Then I don't want to go there. Time is for you. Permissions. What are the permissions? Okay. Read, write, execute. Good. If I put this, you can see a lot of read, write, executes are there. What is that then? Okay, how many of them know that? You can see lot of read write execute, read write execute, around six are there, right? Read write execute, read write execute, read. <coughs> what is that? Everybody know that or no? What is mean by that D? Okay, before that I will show some basic commands. I think most of the people will bore because they know already these things. Like LS means those who don't know they can refer this. I think most of the people know the Linux you can learn from there. If anybody don't know how to install Linux, how to install Linux, be honest, I will train you, I will give a training. If you don't know how to install Linux, everybody know? You don't know? Two, three. Anyone else? You. Four. Three. You four people can do one thing. Uh, by tomorrow onwards, I will not be here. Monday, I will be available. Monday afternoon. Uh, you can fix a time and come to ASL lab. You know ASL lab? Crescent building. Air Professor Fataki is sitting, you know that. Uh, in the ground floor, there is a lab called ASL lab. You can come there. First schedule and mail to me, then I will give time. Uh, how to install it. Five people can come together. Okay? So, simple commands like my friend said already ls means you can explain what is ls loudly. List. Or? Okay. Louder than others can useful. These five people don't know Linux. Okay. So, how you will get help? You need help for a specific command. Okay, if you don't know any command, any options, you can put man, ls, it will show all the commands, means all the options, sorry, ls minus a, you can refer this and you can proceed further. Then pwd, and everyone knows, person working directory. And what is top command, top? Hmm? Top. Understand what it is. What are the process currently running? And this it is changing. You can see no, it is changing. Real time. Then how you will check who is logged in? Then what is this? Hmm? Okay. How to check the IP address? 
not ip config if config if config ip config is in windows if you put ip config it will give something else okay if config how to check the host name host name of the machine how to check the domain name if you set a fqdn how you will check i know it is not because we are not set a domain name if in the servers you will get the domain name okay then how you check the connectivity between two machines hmm? ping everybody know ping command ping then the next machines ip address anybody know ns look up hmm? ah god it will give the ip address of the google server then you know how to add users oh on gui commands you and everyone know in user privileges normally there are three commands user add user mode user del <coughs> user add means we can add a user user mode means you can change some features of the users user del means we can delete the user user add user mode user del when we are using so okay now in the server i want to download a file because i don't have any gui nothing i'm getting only the terminal black and white screen how i will download wget right wget wget if you give the path it will download that file. okay and how to check how much memory the system is using do you do you is not memory the du itself it is there now what is du disk usage ah uh, that is not related to memory no how you will check how much memory it is using my machine how much ram is free G part and means that is disk partitioning, not memory. Memory we are not able to partition. How we will check the free memory? The command is free. Free minus m means it will give in megabyte. Free. how you will check the release if you don't have any gui nothing you are getting only the screen how you will get this 12.04 13.10 that is how you will know anybody know if you are is there you can go there and find it will show this is the version huh? start no no Oh, in, if you are working in a server, no, never. We are not able to start, restart. No. Okay. 
LSB release LSB underscore release minus A. And this is the command Linux distribution. But this is only you, it will only work in Ubuntu machines. If you go to Fedora or any other machine, the command is different. machine that is which distribution send OS 7 right I think these are the simple basic commands I think you can refer you will get a lot of commands from the net also so next I want to talk about version control how many people know version control no, no, not, I am not asking the tool, what is version control? Sir, so basically you manage uh, several versions of the file, so you can go back to the previous version, build back, and uh, you can also manage multiple branches of the same version. Okay. Okay, that is true. Anything else? I think uh, Abhinash sir explained the software development process, right? He explained that the software development process, how it is functioning. Do you have any idea? Hmm? No? How a software is developing or how, how it goes up to the production? No idea? I think you people are already done projects, right? Projects, mini projects, no? Okay. In this case, uh, in software development like that, we will maintain a server. It will be called version control. I think before that, I will tell a story. Then only you will understand. So I think now everybody is thinking why version control. Mera dost panch log hai. Main ek version sabka machine mein dal dega. Problem hi nahi hai. Isaiah kya? You are thinking like that, right? Your 50 people are there, I will copy my project to 50 different PCs, then my source code is secure. If the my machine is go down, I can retrieve that from there. Like that? Anybody is thinking like that? Huh? Okay, now I will tell a story. It's a real life. I mean, I am also the own part of that. Don't ask who all are, all the characters are imaginary expect, except to me. So, when I joined here, that time there is no version control, nothing. There are two programmers. They are extremely good programmers. They are also like you. They are freshers. After completing their uh, MTech and MCA, they joined in IIT. They are doing a lot of work, everybody is impressed, everything is going perfect. So what they are doing, they will come early morning and directly log into the production server. That is live server. If something is changing, it, within a second it will reflect to the entire world. That is thing. In the production server, if you change something, the same time it will reflect to everyone. So they are coming every day and logging in and doing the things. Everything is working, all of them are happy. So in our requirement, some of the time all the features are not needed. Like registration, summer internship registration. It is happening in a year only once, right? That time you want to register. Then rest of the 10 months it is idle. Next year around, next 2016, again I want to take this code, registration page code. I want to put it live. You people are registering, everything is working. Fine. One day what happened, there is no version control I already mentioned. They are doing lot of things. Accidentally they deleted one file. That's an important file. It's an evaluation file because when you are 
entering registering that time it is evaluate you are already registered or not your mobile number is there your email address is there that part they deleted nobody knows that nobody knows that it is deleted after an year again the same thing come okay patak sir bula ya bula okay kal se registration chalu okay log fir se server mein login kiya they are searching for the files file is not there what they will do sab hawa mein gaya kya karega they put the registration page there is no issues they put the registration page registration page is there but validation is not there nobody knows that some student is trying to register he got some error immediately he called one of our pm pick the phone if the problem goes to the pm you know what will happen means you are in firing point so why it happen there is no version number so that i still i am remembering that is a friday by around 3:30 he simply called in the office ha ah, bilash upar aa jao aa gaya bol bhai tu isne already see the range kiya hum log teen log hai ऐसा बोला आप उधर बैठो तू इधर बैठो तू इधर बैठने गए मैं इधर खड़ा रहे किधर दरवाजा गया उधर विदाउट वर्किंग द गोड नो बडी विल गो आउट साइड दैट इज थिंग इफ ए वर्शन कंट्रोल इज देयर इट इज सिंपल थिंग वी कैन गो देयर एंड सर्च इट अरवाइज वी कैन चेक आउट वन ईयर बैक कोड एंड वी कैन रिप्लेस इट वी कैन डू if you are not following that thing the same will happen here also i will not tell the name we will do that Maybe some of the people will understand after some time so everything should be in version control because most of the time we are seeing like people are saying ah sir hey mera laptop mein hai sir problem nahi hai sir bole ke demo dikhao ah sir mera laptop le ke aao if you tell like that no same time you are in firing point So don't do like that. What are the files you are doing? Put it in the version control. Okay. Maybe accidentally, all of them are human being. Sometimes we will delete some files. We also don't know. After that, maybe we require how we will retrieve. So if it is in version control, we can simply check it out and we can do that. Okay. So what are the version control? I think you understand the story. What are the consequences? because for that day we spend up i think around up to 3 o'clock in the night to retrieve everything because the biggest thing is the that well uh, evaluation code is written by the pm itself because a lot of software engineers are trying to do that they are failing then he take the responsibility and he write the code and he told to them this is the code you can use any time what are the things you need only enable rest of the thing you disable if you need mobile number then enable that feature otherwise you need city enable that disable this 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 things that's all they delete that code important up to 3 o'clock we spend partially it is complete not fully so that is the consequence so if it is in version control that means if we maintain the version control within a second i can say like less than 30 seconds we can analyze we can check it out we can replace the code everything will work so now what are the version controls what are the tools we are using git everybody know only git only git before git ha huh? okay some other cbs svn subversion lot of tools are there so how many of them are familiar with the git and github familiar with the github you know how to push how to pull everything no 
Okay. So I think we will, uh, I think how many of them are working in EDX? EDX. Going to work in EDX. No idea. Project is not an allocator. Oh, sorry. Okay. So I think some of them are working on EDX, right? Open EDX. You know that? You know that? Yes, right? Okay. In uh, Open EDX, all the files are storing in uh, GitHub only. Open EDX related files, all the updates will come in GitHub only. So what we are doing is we have a branch here, we already cloned the repository here. We will give access to that repository. So you can download that code, you want to work on that. You will get individual user ID and password, you will get which uh, group you are working, like that we will configure. It will take some time, I don't know when they will allocate the project. I think by Monday or Tuesday it will happen. So, for a demo purpose, I am giving there is a website called uh, gitlab.com. I am not going to GitHub because GitHub has some limitation for me. Like we can create only public project, no private project is allowed. Then we want to give money, then only they will. So, I think you people can also, somebody can create a project in GitLab you can see how it is working. Some of the commands I will show you, but you can see how it is working. You can add groups, you can add more files, you can create branches, where you can create versions like that. And you can, huh? I will show you some of the commands. So I already created a project in GitLab, it's called Summer Inter. Okay. First step is I want to clone this code in my machine. the command git clone then you want to give the full url means this is my git repo summer intern so i'm cloning that summer intern now you can see in the test folder summer intern is there okay summer intern there is one file only one file so like you can think like it is a project for your uh, Java project or Python project. For on that case, it will get lot of files, many files. Okay. So now I want to edit this file. I am editing this file. Edited by Abilash. Okay, now I edited the file. Now the thing is in our git the file is different, in my local repo the file is different. So I want to change the reflect what are the things I done in my local machine. In your case what are the things in every day, what are the things you are doing otherwise you can say okay when I part me kam gear. Suppose user authentication me, I am doing something, some modification, it is working fine. What I will do next? That is my local machine. I want to push back. I want to reflect the same in the original. Then only my colleague can download the code and work on that. Okay. So for that, what I will do? First, we want to add. Git add. If it is only one file, that's why I use one. Otherwise, you can use dot or star. It will put entire files or you want to put only specific files, then you, you want to mention the name. Okay, it's clear? Which one? I will show you. There is no concept of overwrite. That's why we are using version control. No? 
If it is overwriting, how you will retrieve? Okay. Huh? VI editor, editor. You don't know. VI is an editor. VI, Vim, G edit, that's our editors. Like if you are not getting this uh, GUI, no? the command line you want to work or that only. Really. Otherwise, it's the same file you can open in open office or anything. Oh, if, oh you want to. Or save escape colon wq wq mean, q means right and quit now i added the file so what is next part next i want to commit in commit when you are committing a file you want to give some messages you want to give a comment we will give git commit minus m messages. So what is the importance of this message? So I can simply write, okay, Abhilash committed. That's all. Abhilash committed and date and time. Is it okay for commit? Yes. So, because in our environment, most of the time I am seeing like, okay, committed by these people. If you write that line or not like that line, it will automatically record. Your, according to your username, it will take the date stamp also. Date, time, everything it will record. There is no need to mention, okay, Abhilash is committed. You can simply write, okay, this feature added or this feature deleted, these many lines added. So it should be clear. Then only up, after some time you want to retrieve that file, you can simply identify. Okay, in this file I edited this thing, I want to just go through the log and I can find, okay, in this area I edited, so this is the file. I can check out that specific version, okay. Okay, now in the local it is reflected. Now I want to put it in the production original in the remote server. here you can see there's two commits less than a minute ago you can see the first commit you can see the last commit who committed the vpc sad user if any other user is there their name will come there okay understand So, for testing and adding two more files, <coughs> sorry, okay, only one file. So, next is branch. So, in software development, you know, in during the development cycle, lot of bugs or lot of new problems or new challenges will come. How we will manage from the same report? In a software development, we will get some new task. The same code, right now only one dot TXT. Yeah. Okay, tomorrow Sara is calling and saying, okay, I need this module. And two more people calling and saying, okay, I need this module. In this case, how we will manage? It should be isolated. That case, the branches is coming. You can create different branches. Suppose group one, I am giving one task. Group 2, I am giving another task. I will create two branches. Okay. Two branches I will I will allocate what are the people in that branches. They can work on that specific branch. Once they finish, we can merge back. 
is an option called the merge. We can merge with the existing. Okay, how we will create branches? Then again I want to push back. Now I want to give branch name. Branch create over here. ABC, you can see here. Push the new branch. From that point, I created a new branch. Okay. Understand the what is branching concept? Any doubt? Okay, now the development is moving. So, some of the modules are finished of the module otherwise some team or some common modules are finished so products are called all you guys and say okay release that what we will do we want to release up to that today what is today 12 right ajika code abhi release karne ka mere paisa release kare you know the releases right releases anybody don't know releases Like version, versions. This I can say revisions, not versions, revisions. Version means version 1.0, 1.1, 1.2. So today he is saying, okay, release. He does version 1.0. How we will release? So for that we are calling this tagging. L means it will display all the tags. Okay, now I want to push back. That is a version. Yes, yes, yes. Like if you go to EDX, they have two releases, I think Aspen as well as Bridge, I think. So they are done like this only, tagging. They will tag from this day, this is the version. Topmost huh? Top huh. What are the things you done up to today? That is version. After 5 days or 10 days after an year, you are checking out version 1 means you will get today's code. You will not get later score. What is the version? That is the tag. item no 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 then you will get v2.0 only when you download v1 you will get only view sure shape sure Ah, but that is latest update, no? Change a lot of things. Ah, 
even in the updated version i can say like that version 2 means you should update something then only you will release a version right from version 1 these much things are working some bugs are there we know the bugs after that we will fix the bug and release it as version 2 every software is doing like that only okay? because some of the companies they want to they are saying we will release by this day they know it has bugs but they will release i say version 1 so then we will report bug okay here uh, bug hai here bug hai so for example uh, anybody know open stack open stack open stack open stack cloud hmm? no uh, there is no need for you just uh, search it in google for open stack documentation and see every two or three days what is the difference you can see every three days they are changing the document means they are updating but he is saying version is different even in idiots also they have two three type of releases like they have weekly releases and they have this version kind of releases every week if you go to the git no you can see every week they have releases like what are the things from last week to this week they will fix it and release and once all the components are stable some still some bugs are there but most of the components are stable then they will release as a name release like aspen or this thing but in between if you compare aspen as well as you know, there is huge difference they are saying around 1 lakh lines of code they change they are saying so that is the difference. you will get version 1 yes, your point is correct that code also but modified code you can say like updated code okay i think top you can see two commits because i committed two times only that's why two commit i created two branch why two branch one is the master branch and second one is i already name it as abc <coughs> that is the branch and one tag tag means right now i created e1.0 tag means that is a final thing okay branch you can decide if you are checking out only the if we are saying you work it on branch one you check out that branch and do what are the things you want to change and push back if you checking out only that branch when you are pushing no it will go there only it will not go anywhere as we will not give uh, the original source code permission that as it is because otherwise there is no point because tomorrow something goes wrong at least i can check it out from there and run it will work what are the modifications you done that will go you can fix it after that we can deploy again we deploy we can okay so git log it will show the log <coughs> what are the files i committed how many times committed that thing it will show so for, uh, for this git log no there are n number of options are there like suppose some pm want to check in my team five members are there each commit i want to check five members who is idle i want to check you go there and put your name it will show only your commit it has time stamp also so he can check regularly what is happening he is doing or not doing and we can check i think hope everyone understand what is the important of version control in a software development i think everybody follow this rule are you going to follow or not ha huh? you should follow otherwise you will be in trouble 
ओके ओके बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम आई एम सींग लाइक पीपल कमिंग एंड दे आर शोइंग इन देयर लैपटॉप दैट विल नॉट वर्क once in the final professor fatak or any other pm asked only oh, is it in the git up is it in the git <coughs> okay git then send a mail to abilash you will send a mail to me i will run some commands it will deploy in the production server and run it if it is working okay otherwise you will be in trouble again <laughs> you, you are not going to do anything we will only do this commands like git pull it will pull what are the code you done it will come there and run it if it is working saying then you will claim that sir in my laptop it is working there is some problem that is not possible it should work there if in your laptop it is working fine means it should work everywhere otherwise maybe you missed some file to push back to the original that is a problem sometimes it's happening still in our software development it is happening they will give a request okay our software is ready you run this command we will run the command our job is only run the command we will run the command we have scripts we will run the script everything will check out from the uh, right now we are using svn from the svn it will automatically compile deploy we will replay back okay deployment is run then somebody will check they will identify okay there is a big mistake again what is the problem they forgot to push back on file again they want to push back again the same process then again come here i want to run the script go production everything is working fine okay so make sure all the code should be in the git or what are the version control we are giving for your safe as well as our safe next part is documentation i think avinash sir discuss about the documentation importance huh yes yes or no yes. yes no so follow that why documentation ha huh? ah so because your job is for the two months after two months you will go back to your colleges then what we will do with that code what are the things you develop i don't know there are millions of code i don't know where you change what functionality you add for configuring then what are the things i want to do so we want to follow that so for that documentation is also required even that also you can keep it in the git the document also you can keep it in the git regularly we can update final only we can check the final means that that final version of your documentation you can release like a tag so final you can download that and check it is working fine or not okay i think the session is over i think some of them got something some of them <laughs> we didn't get anything